As far as FPGAs and hardware level languages are concerned, we only had experience through our VLSI lab, like and DSD lab, very minimal experience, and we didn't think much of it then. But now, when I actually got into it, interfacing sensors, building an actual robot, I'm actually seriously considering it, considering future possibilities in this world. Before joining the competition, I would like to you know discourage working in the teams because when you are working individually, you have all the control over the everything. You have you don't have to depend upon other people. But as the competition progressed, I realized that I can't achieve a certain goal in my life with uh, by doing everything. Kritik used to complement our journey. Kritik used sometimes used to give such a beautiful and amazing ideas, and I used to think that I I could never come up with such an idea. So the the realization is that if you want to achieve bigger things in life, you need a good team in your arsenal. Never be afraid of going back and rethinking the whole algorithm from scratch. There's a chance that your foundation itself is wrong. So whatever you're building on top isn't going to stay. So never be afraid of doing that and never doubt yourself. If you try it, it would definitely happen because there are a lot of days wherein we didn't accomplish anything. But then the next day, the first thing we did was we resolved that. So one should never give up. Like uh, even though there is a frustration, you should believe in this fact that if you will keep going and you will, you know, calmly analyzing the things, give yourself some time, then you will surely, will definitely, you will resolve that issue. Instead of going directly, like uh, going directly to solve the problem, lot of time was given to the planning part. If you realize this thing that you have to give time to the planning, you will soon realize that you are saving actually a lot of time in the future. When we reached the testing phase, mechanical problems were came out of the blue. The speed of the bot used to vary a lot, and that used to uh, you know bother with the different parameters of of our algorithm. Sometimes our bot used to stray away from the path. Sometimes it used to overshoot and and all due to the lack of lubrication in the gears of the motors and due to the some dirt in the caster. After the re re we have isolated the reason, we have started uh, you know regular inspection of the gears and caster. We used to clean the caster wheels and every two days. And we were a bit late in realizing this fact that some of the mechanical problems can be solved. By tweaking or introducing some new logic in your soft in the design software in the software design. Indian education is like not much hands on. Scope of labs and is very limited, and there's no real uh, chance of innovating and coming up with your own design unless you take up projects on your own, which can be very daunting. Eantra like provides a very great platform wherein you actually get uh, experience, guidance. And all the motivation you need to actually go through your project and get proper experience. More than anything, it actually made me realize what the actual scope of electronics is, because that's something which we don't realize while reading books and all. Software is very evident and much more uh, like widespread, and people have a lot of knowledge about software. But in electronics, what can be done, what can be achieved, what's the scope is not very evident in the curriculum or the textbooks. So that's one uh, aspect which greatly inspired you throughout the competition. Eantra helps you to strive for you know get excellence in electronics. You know quench your thirst for electronics. One should participate in Eantra throughout their college life, on first year, second year, third year, and until you passes the age limit, because it will give you a immense amount of knowledge. It will give you a immense amount of experience, and it will also motivate you to go for the dreams that you are you are that you are imagining, you are, that you are having for yourself instead of following someone else's dream. Eantra is like a water for me. Water in the sense it quenches the thirst of a hobbyist. It quenches the thirst of a electronics and communication engineer. Few months back, I was thinking that I should uh, rather uh, shift towards the software side and continue towards because many people are shifting towards it. But Eantra has motivated me to pursue electronics.